is for our sake, we find him hard. So therefore, we must run away from evil. So I will be like him, and who at the end of the day was killed. Because the day come, came when God judged him, and that was the end of a man. Today we are looking at a new message, Power Changes and Mordecai on the Throne. We are looking at point one, Esther, the wise king maker. Esther, the wise king maker. If I read the Bible, I read the Bible, but I will look at one and two. On that day, did the king Azarus give the house of him and the Jews enemy unto Esther the queen? And Mordecai came before the king, for Esther had told what he was unto her. And the king took off his ring, which he had taken from Haman, and gave it unto Mordecai. And Esther said Mordecai over the house. Truly, power started changing hands. But before Haman and Esther get to this day, they have passed through a lot of trials, through a lot of temptation from Haman. That is what I mean, that yes, in your own days, in your own life, weeping may endure for a, a, a night, but joy coming in the morning. You may be serving God and are going through some great trial, I cannot tell anyone. But that if you want to believe that God will do it for everyone day, truly, to come to prayers. They, they, they talk because of the threat that Monica uh, Eman gave to them. They were perplexed. The whole city was perplexed. They were afraid. Oh, so one day is coming that we all be wiped out. But look at today. It is joy for them. She not say okay now. Nah, this person, the great person, I want to find myself. She took it and gave it to the uncle Mordecai. That shows that, show that this child, Esther, was well trained by the uncle. When we grow up, they will never depart from ease. This position was not given to Monica. The king gave it to Esther to be in charge of the house, the house of Haman. But she in turn gave it to her own call. Esther took that 
wise decision that, oh no, this position should be for my, my uncle. And she took it and gave it to him that, oh, my uncle will be in charge of the house of a man. You can say that she has been taught not to be greedy. Because she had the spirit of God in her heart. She was not great, she was not selfish. You must learn from that. Both as parents and as, as children. That we must train up our child in a godly way so that they will in turn begin to do great things in life and make our name great. Over their affairs 
of the province of Babylon for Daniel sat in the gate of hell to reveal, uh, to interpret the dream for the king Nebuchadnezzar. When he revealed that, he interpreted that dream, the man was, uh, was, was surprised and said, Ah, you, your God is the God of gods, the Lord of, of, of king. For him, to, for him to have revealed this basically to him. And because of that, the king promoted Daniel and put him in, in charge of, of, of the province of Babylon and of the chief of Babylon, who are all the wise men of Babylon. Of a lot of people being charge of great and uh, this great uh, province of, of, of Babylon, but he never did that. He looked at his other uh, uh, brethren that are there that are also have the spirit of God. He now put them in that position. You can see that it's only the person that the Spirit of God can do that. Because this man that he has that Spirit of God, he puts those people, Shekhar Meshach, you know, in that great position. Why he went back to the at the king's gate? This is a great lesson for you and me, not to be selfish, not to be conventious. That has got the blessing, we should send the blessing to others also. That has got the speaking you all, trying to also lift others up also. Don't say, oh, only me, only me, only my name that you be had, only my name that you be had over, but try to help others also. Oh, 
this act of being selfless, this act of not being conventional. Of, 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 of 
will bring one up, and the one that can also bring one down. Also. But we must learn from this extra, must learn from Joseph how we must be doing good, give to people that have need of our help. John chapter 3 verse 16 He says For God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten son that was who believe in him should not perish but have to perish and go to hell He sent his only son to die for you and for me Can you see how God loves us so much? That can give us anything so that we can make it at the end of the day. And that is why you and I must worship God and be like Him also. We must not be selfish, we must not be greedy at all. And that was the price that Paul also learned from Jesus. In 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16 to 17. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16 to 17. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is there upon me, yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. For if I do the, these things willingly, I have a reward, but if, but if against my will, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto me, and I pray it from Jesus, he can do that. No, I can give it to myself. Let me tell others also that they can also benefit from me from Jesus. Is 
made unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call, and with many others words, words did he testify and so saying, Save yourself from this unto a generation. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day were added unto the church about three thousand souls. So they are. What God has done for them is a great thing. Saving them, giving them this great uh, commission, they cannot just keep it to themselves. They went out and begin to preach to others what Jesus has done for them and what great work is still doing. They knew what God had done for them and they took it out to other people. We must not allow what God has done in our life. We must tell it to others. Let people see Jesus in us and then we we'll tell them about Jesus. If as God is helping us in this ministry, if as God is protecting and, 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 and supporting us in this ministry, we must let others know about this Jesus that is helping us. But what is helping at all? Lord, help me that I 
will do what you want me to do. As you are helping me, I will help others. As you have told me from here to, 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 to make it level, Lord, help me to also help others also. not to be selfish at all, but to do your way to help others also. Pray and thank God, Lord, don't allow the promotion that put in my life, don't allow the promotion that put me to get into my head. Help me to remain humble, help me to remain humble, and also help others also in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray and thank God, thank God. I will be available for you to do your way, to please you in all my way, to see that people are saved on a daily basis. We are there for Lord, we are so God again, Lord. Yeah, I'm ready to stand at the gap for you, for people to know about you more in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Oh my God, positively, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, when we are weak, when we are down, in every sphere of life, I pray, let power change that in our lives, so that we can make great impact into other people's life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Promotion that at the end of the day you will come and pick us to where you are. I pray, help us to be on that day, help us to, to, to strive for that, 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 that promotion in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you know you have answered our prayers. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.